Are you wondering what the mass percent is of lithium and oxygen in lithium oxide? Well, good thing you clicked on that video. My video. Because I'm going to help you do it. Here we go. Ready? Take a look. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write the elements we see in the compound. So we got lithium, oxygen. Next is to then to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript, just put in a one because that's what it is assumed to be there. So we've got two lithium, one oxygen. Then we're going to multiply by the mass of each element. These masses are found on the periodic table. So take a look. Lithium is 6.94, oxygen is 16, so that's what we're going to write down. 6, 6.94 for lithium and 16 for oxygen. Then to find the total mass of the element of the compound, just simply multiply this row on a cross, right? This is going to be 13.88, and then oxygen is going to be 16. Then to find the total mass of the entire compound, literally simply just add up this column, okay? So this is going to be 29.88. It's as simple as that. And there it is, right? That's the total mass of the compound. That doesn't even look like a nine, does it? There it is. All right, that looks better. Not really, but what are you going to do? So now we found the total mass of the compound. What we're going to do now is add a column to the table to help us find the percent. Easy as pie. Watch. Bam. So to find the mass percent of the percent composition of lithium, we're going to take the total mass of the lithium. So we're always looking at this column now to do the mass percents. 13.88 divided by then the total mass of the entire compound, hence why we had to do that first, okay? Then multiply that fraction by 100 to get it into a percent. I know you're like, is that a 1W? Yeah, it kind of does, right? So 100, there we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, 46.45%, uh, this should work out to be. And that's the percent now of lithium inside of lithium oxide. Then we're going to do the same thing for oxygen. Take the total mass here of that oxygen, divide it by the total of the entire compound, multiply that by 100, and the percentage here should be roughly 53 0.55. This should sum up to be 100%. It's a nice little way to check, right? And by the way, this is what I want for you on your next test. And what we've done is we've created thousands and thousands of videos to help you through your class. We really want to help you out. Remember, there's no shortcut to success, all right? Unless you're extremely, extremely lucky. But let's be realistic. That's an unlikely event, right? You make your own success. Study hard, stay determined, and you'll get there. Check out our channel. Take care.